Chrissy, thank you. Okay, if you watch the new Space Jam movie closely, you may see some art from a San Diegan. This is cool. I love it. We welcome back now local artist Paco Pablo. Paco, good morning. Thank you guys. Thank Thanks you guys for joining for us. Me here. Those things are cool. Um, thank you, thank you. You, you know what? Uh, how would you describe the art for people maybe not familiar with your work? And you look at some of what you've done. How would you describe it to people? Uh, it's just it's just a very very uh, visual style, you know, because I, I'm lucky enough to. Uh, manage what is digital and uh, fine art, which mm -hmm. uh, I'm famous for the portraits, the fine arts. I've been, you know, doing that for a while with, with high-profile people and stuff. Um, so I, I, I did that to uh, have the use of all my capabilities, and, and this is the, the style, the anime style is the thing that is trending cool. right now with all the new culture, you know, what, what comes with anime, like Dragon Balls, all the new, you know, generation and all of those things that are involved with sneakers, hip hop, basketball. So nice. it's basically a style that embraces the whole culture. Nice. Like, hold up. When I watch the new Space Jam, I want to know where this is. So when I sit down with my, my kids and we watch it, I'll be like, I know the person who made that. Where in Where is it? Where? it it's in the intro of the movie. Okay. It's basically when, when the villain is looking for LeBron James oh, and he starts to look yeah. and pick and choose. And then you can see my painting coming up from the background, just stepping in until, you know, he flips it up. Oh um, my, what is it? Did you know that they were gonna? I mean, they must for permission. And yes, yeah. yes, it's cool. been something yeah. that I had to keep a secret. Ah. You know, it's one of those things that ah, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be in a big Hollywood blockbuster. I want to brag about it, but you can. You oh, know, wow. so yeah, it's uh, it's very cool. It's a yeah. very cool feeling. Yeah, know? I was gonna ask you about that feeling because you do. You know, we we meet a lot of artists, and oftentimes in the sentence of artists comes struggling artists, right? We hear that all the time. But to be able to make it big and have people recognize your work and then it being a movie, I mean, what do you do at that moment? Do you scream? Do you do you dance? Do you jump up and down? You, you know what? To be honest, you embrace it, and after 15 minutes, you have to let it go and go after the next one. Yeah. You know, ah. because if you, if you just keep sleeping in, oh, my glory of this and this and that, yep. you're just going to stay there. You know, and as an artist, you need to adapt and you need to evolve to what's trending. Yeah. So if you stale, you're not going to move anywhere. So for me, it's a really, really, really cool accomplishment as an artist to have it featured in a, in sure. an emotion, especially as a Mexican. No? There's not a lot of Mexican mm -hmm. artists that have, you know, their original artwork in, in, in a, an emotion movie. But. You know, we, we saw the LeBron uh, portrait, and I know that you talked to us earlier about that artwork of LeBron, and it got stolen, and that was like a whole big thing on the news. Yeah. Yes. Did, it, did you find it? Did it come back? Did it, or is uh, it still kind it's, of gone? It's, it's a funny thing because when you guys went to the studio to cover the, the, yeah. the, the piece, um, I actually uh, told you guys that the people don't think enough, and they're going to be in the, uh, they're going to end up posting the piece on Instagram, saying, "Oh, look what I got," or this and that, and that's what happened. <gasps> so two days after the segment, Sh some, stop yeah, it. some, some of my friends texted me a, a screenshot, and there was a guy. Look at my souvenir from the Twister concert. So part of me is like, "How dumb are you?" What a, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the other one is like, "Okay, got you." Right, so we started to feel all the, you know, the police. We try to help as much as we can, and sure. the police got them. Wow. Unfortunately, uh, what I got told was that the piece got destroyed. Oh. They wanted to get rid of the evidence, <gasps> so the piece is no longer with us. If you wanna, yeah. No. So he knew he got busted, so he destroyed it instead yeah. of. Yeah. Oh, what a. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Paco, I'm gonna keep that. Oh, I'm sorry. Please do. To myself. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Okay, yeah. I'll tell you when we're done. You also <laughs> have have an app. Yes. What is your app? Uh, so basically, w what I was telling you guys is that, that, that we as artists, we, we, like, we, we need to adapt and we need to yeah. evolve. So with this mixture of, of both of the techniques, which is anime and fine art, what I do is I bring technology um, in, in the game. So basically what I do is I create uh, digital artwork okay. that when you uh, look it through my app, the app will just activate an animation on it. So no basically, way. they come to life. Yeah. What? So you go to another image. Wait. You go oh, to this is your phone image. right now? Yeah, oh, this, this is, is my phone right, right now. now. Okay. So you, your oh app, if you put it on this image. Whoa. It, yeah. Let me let me show you a very cool okay, one. This show is us Mr. Another one. Uh, okay. Tommy Lasorda. Don't mind me. I'm just hovering over you right now. So there is in his uh, <gasps> last year birthday. Uh, I don't know if we can hear it, but he's wishing uh, as his birthday wish. 
uh, oh. for the Dodgers to win the World Series. How'd you do you know? that? So, wait yeah, minute. basically. Give me those cards over here. <laughs> I, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> this is not like one of those magic tricks or anything, right? No, what? it's not. How did you, it? did you need to aim it to the right oh, yeah. image? Oh, yeah. Okay, so right let's image. go with that one. Go with okay. the, yeah, Ooh, the flight director. There how you go. the heck, bro? So it's called augmented reality. It's something that I'm proud to say. I'm proud to say that we are, you know, bringing it in as, wow. as a new technology that it's trending with all this combination of artwork. Uh, that was that was going to be taken to the uh, Big Three China tour uh, before COVID. Um, the, the rest is history. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things. Actually, I have my my clothing line is is uh, AR. It has AR capabilities. Uh -huh. So if you go to my online page and and oh, get the shirt in my store. Um, you will be able to activate it, and we have in you know keychains, sneakers, a, a bunch of things. That's impressive. Yeah, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So, were you? Cool. Would you? Is this like a Comic Con thing? I mean, they would love to see that. Have you been to Comic Con before? Uh, because I, this has Comic Con written all oh, over. Oh yeah, it. totally, totally, yeah. totally. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in a lot of conversation with different uh, industries because yeah. I don't want, I don't want to be. I love Comic Con every year I go. Well, yeah. Except last one, but sure. but um, I need to to stay as an artist instead of just being cataloged as a comic artist. So I need to, you know. Be broader, exactly, your... because this is used in, in, yeah. in merchandise for high, high uh, profile athletes, for high brands, you know, yeah. for uh, yeah. marketing, for all of this. My studio takes you... care of all of it. Because we've seen you mingle, you're with actors, you're with athletes, you're with us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how, how do you get into that world and then they kind of pick up on it and then uh, they're like, this is the guy? I, I gotta say, it's the artwork. You yeah, know, one of the things that I'm prou proud to say is that it's not, it's not anything else but what I do, what I wow. create with my hands. Whoa. When people see me painting with my fingers and do the whole process and, cool. and the final product, it's just something uh, that is just very striking. You know, especially cool. when, when you meet these celebrities that, that they have seen everything in the yeah. world and they still get shocked with your wow. work. You know, that's, you know, it's priceless. Speaking of striking, you are very tall. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say this dude's like, I'm 6'2", I stood up and made me look small. Yeah, you're how tall are you? 6'8". 6'8"! Six, eight. Six, eight. 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 Can we get a wide shot, have him stand up and see how tall this guy is? <laughs> I don't know. And you said you is. actually played basketball yeah, in Mexico basketball. for the team. Yeah, for the national team in Mexico. Nice! Yeah. This yeah. dude right here. I have quite my stories, yeah. I might need your help, I was telling you earlier, uh, to come help me coach my kids' uh, little basketball yeah, team. Because the, the main coach is going on vacation next week. We gotta come up with a plan. There you go. Dude, yeah. they need to work on layup drills, yeah. rebounding. Hey, I got you. My man, right yeah, here, Paco Pog. Dude, fantastic work. Yeah. Keep it, you know, continue success. Yeah, thank you for being here. That is so, so good. That so, app, so I need that app for like. Download it. What the heck was that? So cool. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you.